Hey everyone, Monica Fernandez with Evolution Essentials. In this video, we're going to go from toxic to low tox 101 home aromatics. What does that all mean? It means that if you want to transition from toxic products, toxic living to a more low tox lifestyle, then we need to talk about home aromatics. And the home aromatics I'm talking about are home scents, everything that has a scent in your home. And this reset can be done in the new year. It can be done with spring cleaning. It can be done anytime, anytime that you feel like you need to reevaluate your choices and it can be overwhelming. So plan to do it in phases in case you feel like it's too much to do it all at once. When I talk about toxic things and toxic chemicals, I actually did a video on the eight hidden toxic chemicals, what is lurking in your cleaning products. And you can catch that right here where I go really, really in detail about which chemicals are hidden in our cleaning products. So we're considering toxic things that are harmful. So we're talking about fragrance. Fragrance is the big culprit in all of this. The toxic things that you have that you may not know that are toxic are candles, plugins, room sprays, potpourri with synthetic fragrance, burning oils that are fragrance oils, incense. A lot of the incense out there is not naturally made. It's scented with a synthetic aroma and that can be highly toxic. Cleaning products that emit a smell. We're talking about cleaning sprays, laundry detergents, uh, scented trash bags. Actually, any product that can emit a smell can even go through textiles or furniture. So what produces a smell in your home? It can really be anything. It doesn't just have to be cleaning products. It could be your furniture. It could be your clothes. It could be actually everything. It could be anything that you bring in the home. It could be boxes. It could be anything. So we're trying to detox all of those things, minimize, get rid of all of these toxic things as much as possible and make it a more low tox environment. So cleaning products that emit a smell are a huge culprit. And we're talking about, you know, cleaning sprays, laundry, detergents. So think about when you go into a grocery store, when you buy something, if it actually has a smell. A lot of times manufacturers, because of marketing purposes, they find that it, it is more appealing to sell something with an aroma. The problem is that the fragrance that is applied is synthetic because that's the cheapest form of scent is actually the manufactured one. And so what happens is that you bring that into your home and you are inhaling all of this and that's really not healthy. So I actually did a video on the four best non-toxic DIY cleaners for the home to dust, clean wood and vacuum. And you can catch that right here. So if you are new to the, my channel, I wanted to welcome you. And if you're not, I want to welcome you back. And when we're talking about the non-toxic options that you're going to consider and you're going to implement in your home, I want to give you a list of what are some of the options that you can start implementing and doing those swappings of things that emit a smell. So what is natural that emits a smell and it's not going to harm your health or your environment? If you've been to my channel before, you know I'm a huge, huge proponent of essential oils. I talk a lot about essential oils. I'm a little obsessed with essential oils. And there's a good reason for that. It's such a great ingredient that actually protects and neutralizes threats in this particular with scenting your home you can really clean the air with essential oils so i recommend that you get the best best essential oils and i actually have a 25 percent off discount in my description of the essential oil brand that i use i only use the best you guys because i don't want to be inhaling things or using things in my environment like the essential oils because those are very very potent that are going to be adulterated in any way so if you want to know more about essential oils and you're new to essential oils you can check out this video right here on what are the top 10 benefits of essential oils all right, so what else is non-toxic? You can actually make or buy 
room sprays that don't have synthetic fragrance. Obviously, your best bet is going to make it yourself because making it yourself, you can control your ingredients and you know exactly what's in there. The diffusers, I'm obviously an essential oil user and therefore I have diffusers pretty much in every room in my house, even the bathrooms, you guys. It's a little crazy. But if you don't want a diffuser that is plugged in or battery operated, you can also have what you call the passive diffusers. What are passive diffusers? So imagine you can put some essential oils on, for example, cedar blocks. Uh, cedar comes from the cedar wood, right? So you, if you have cedar wood essential oil, you can refresh those cedar blocks and put those cedar blocks in drawers and closets and in spaces that are closed in like pantries and things like that, or use terracotta. Terracotta, it's, it's like a clay and you, you place a few drops of essential oil there and you have a passive diffuser that will last. So if you stop being able to inhale that, then you can refresh it and put more essential oils as you go. Felt or wool felt material, you can actually put as well in your drawers with essential oils. Soaps in the drawers and closets, obviously non-toxic soaps. So if you have bought a bunch of soaps, instead of like keeping all of them in the same place, you can actually distribute them throughout, throughout the house. So for example, if you open a dresser drawer, you just smell that, it's so nice, you know? Homemade incense is another option you can make. I've never made homemade incense, but I've seen it made and it's kind of cool. So I would, because a lot of the incense that's sold out there is not, is using synthetic fragrance and kind of defeats the pur purpose of what we're trying to do. So other things that emit smells are herbs and dried flowers. You can actually make bundles out of these and you can also make your own potpourri using these and uh, put some essential oils in there so it can be refreshing as well. Plants, some of these house plants are amazingly purifying for the air. Flowers will have scents, so you can actually use flowers to scent the air. But another thing that will neutralize smells and is non-toxic is baking soda. So you can put baking soda in the fridge or as a carpet freshener or a litter box freshener. You can just add some essential oils. Just make sure that they're safe for cats and for pets. If you have dogs, you want to make sure that you're using essential oils that are not going to harm them either. And if you want to check out my video here, here on the four bathroom cleaners to stop buying that you can make at home using essential oils. Those are non-toxic and safe. So you can actually check that out if you want to make your own stuff. I just love controlling my ingredients. It's a good thing. It really is a good thing. Anyway, if you're enjoying this video, please uh, hit the uh, red button right here. Subscribe to my channel, like this video, comment, share on your social media. That way that helps my channel. And I'd love for you to come and hang out with me every time I upload a new video and you can hit that notification bell to make sure that you're notified. Okay, so what else is non-toxic that will serve as this home aromatic experience? One of the things that you can do, and I've done this sometimes when I have a headache or just because is that you can actually put hot water you can uh, on the stove if you want and then put some herbs and spices and fruits in them the cinnamon sticks and cloves um, you know peels of oranges and lemons all of that stuff is really fragrant any time that you bake have you noticed how your home smells like that that is so amazing because you can smell the, the the spices and everything else so cooking smells baking smells those are just natural aromatics that you can create just by making your meals so it's a really good option as well. One thing that I love, especially in the winter time, is hot cider, hot apple cider. And I put either essential oils, usually put essential oils in them so that I have the taste of the spices and it's just really, really nice. And you can really uh, smell that. Another thing you can make is homemade sachets with flowers and herbs. You can actually put these little sachets near vents. So the whether it's heating vents or AC vents, 
that way your aroma is dispersed. And another trick to really get rid of the smells, the bad smells, is vinegar. White wine vinegar is very efficient in neutralizing smells. So you can actually use white wine vinegar as your um, in your uh, liquid dispenser. You know that little uh, uh, so, uh, what is it? Is it the, the thing that's in the dishwasher next to the thing you're supposed to put the soap in? You know what I'm talking about? Now I can't uh, remember the, the name of it, but you don't need to put like a chemical thing. You can put vinegar there. It does the same thing to, uh, you know, amplify your, your, the cleaning power of your dishwasher. Uh, you can also use vinegar to neutralize the smell in your microwave and the same thing with your laundry. So if you uh, want to kind of clean your washing machine, you can uh, neutralize odors using white vinegar because it, it will eliminate the mustiness and that mildew smell. You don't want bad smells around. Okay, so I also did a video if you want to talk about kitchen cleaners right here you can catch that it's four kitchen cleaners you must stop buying at the store and start making yourself and those are cheaper safer and non-toxic alternatives for you so what else can you use as home aromatics fresh flowers when you have roses or another fragrant flower you really can smell in that area it's just really nice another thing to neutralize odors is an air purifier so you can use definitely your diffuser with essential oils to do the same but an air purifier that actually is really neutralizing and capturing all of the things the bad things in in the air that's really really a good thing to have when there's not a lot of humidity and the temperature is mild outside you can definitely open the windows. That is a way to just kind of air out your space. And also making, going back to the laundry, you can put some essential oils on your dryer balls. That way your laundry is going to smell amazing. It's not going to smell toxic. I can't tell you how nauseous I would become with certain laundry detergents. Sometimes if I smell that even outside, it just really, really makes me nauseous. So you can definitely have the experience, the aromatic, pleasant experience that's not going to harm your health by you putting essential oils. I usually keep three dryer balls in my dryer. I just use one ball with some essential oils, typically lavender, some floral. I just love the floral smells for the laundry. So if you want to also remove any potentially bad smelling things, you need to kind of use your common sense and empty your trash cans regularly. Make sure you clean your litter boxes and change that litter if you have cats. Also do a swipe on all of the stale foods and produce or foods in the pantry that might be old or just rotting. All that stuff creates bad smells and you don't want that. Another thing that you can keep in the pantry and, and in closed spaces or outside too is making your own reed diffuser. It's really, really easy to do that. You can uh, Google that and make your own. So there's a lot of ideas, a lot of ideas that you can actually go from toxic to low tox. I hope you got major value from this video and let me know in the comments which is the first switch that you're going to make. I'd really like to find out. Don't forget to check out my description, the discount that I have on the essential oil brand that I use, and I'll see you in the next video.